going to draw a couple lines here. I'm going to draw one line here. One line here. And one line here. So the top line, I'm going to put on the zero layer. Middle line, it's on the black layer. Bottom line, I'm going to put on the white layer. Okay? They all look like you think they're supposed to look now, right? Right. This one is zero. The layer was the, the labeled white one. This is the color that's black, and this is the color that's white. Watch what happens when I go to the layout. Oh, I don't see anything. So I need to have a viewport. Let's see if I've got a viewport there. So I'm going to go in here and turn off my grid. I don't like the grid and the viewports. Look what happened here. This top line was white, and now it's black. The middle line was black, it's still black. The bottom line was white, and it's still kind of white. And so what happens is this top one, if I go in here, you can see it says white, but it's colored black. So in paper space, things that are on the color of the label white, that, this one, they'll switch colors based on your background. If you're in model space and you have a dark background, they'll be white, so you can see them. If you're in your paper space where you have a white background, they'll switch to being black, so you can see them. And remember, paper space is our piece of paper, so the paper is white and the lines are black. Yep, it knows, so that's the only one that does that automatically that switches things, is this color white right here, because it knows to flip it. Any other ones, if any of these grays here or these shades of white to, to black here, those are going to stay the same shade, shade of gray or white black when you switch model space to paper space. Okay? So, use those sparingly. So, like on our, our the layers I told you to set up, the only one that I picked a shade of gray was that the, the VP layer for the viewport. Because I want it kind of there so I can see it, but I don't want it too, too dark. And so that's why I just did that, because remember, it's not going to print anyways, so it's there, okay? But yeah, so if you want your lines to print black, pick it back. Because on the, the template we had, remember we also did um, the plot styles? So we didn't really talk about this yet, but if in the monochrome plot, plot style, colors turn to black. Shades of gray stay shades of gray. We go to editors, we can we can see that in here. So. But so we'll talk more about the plot styles and stuff later. But right now I just want to make sure we're using that. And so there's two different ways to cut to control your prints. One is by the color of it, and one is by the layer. I prefer to use the layer to control it so that way I can have all different colors on it and then tell it. All of these things are monochrome just by picking a plot style. But if I want a layer that has color on it, I can change that layer to be the normal, and then I'll still have color when it prints. So it gives you a little bit more control. Um, it was only introduced like 15, 20 years ago, so still kind of new. Some people haven't adopted it yet. But that's why when you go to do new, you have all the options of the regular one and the named plot styles. The named plot styles gives you a little bit more flexibility. So that's the one I like to use. So that's the one I had you use on your templates. Okay, does that answer that question?